Hi everyone, my name is James and thanks for tuning in to AlphaSync. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which now comes included for a month free with the latest AlphaSync desktop PCs. Let's do this. Now over to my left hand side, we've gone ahead and picked up one of the latest AlphaSync PCs, available exclusively at eBuyer, featuring a Ryzen CPU from AMD and a 6900 XT graphics card, one of the top end GPUs right now, this system is perfect for playing the latest AAA titles, and the biggest headline games, many of which now come included with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. If we navigate over to the Xbox application and load this up, you can see just a few of the wide range of titles available on Xbox Game Pass Pass Ultimate. Everything from Minecraft to the Forza and Forza Horizon series, and the latest first person shooter AAA titles too. With day one releases available on Game Pass Ultimate, you haven't got to be waiting for the newest titles to filter through, as they're here from day one. Let's take a look at a selection of the titles we've installed. Everything from Microsoft's Flight Simulator through to Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, one of the biggest titles out right now that I have yet to play, and of course Forza Horizon 5. And this is the first game we're going to dive into. It's one of my favourite titles out right now, and something that I'm playing a lot of, and featuring a lot on my YouTube channel, GeekerWall. Forza Horizon 5 is just one of those games you can sit down with either an Xbox controller, like this Blue Edition version, available over at ebuy.com, or you can just play with a keyboard and a mouse. Being one of the latest AAA titles, if you buy this title standalone, it's going to cost you a few quid. But included with Game Pass Ultimate, you get this and many others for a single subscription price. And with a month free with your AlphaSync PC when you first boot it and set it up, you can make sure that you actually like the subscription before moving forward. Uh, try before you buy, if you will. Let's just take a look actually at the performance of Forza Horizon 5 on this system. So let's jump into the graphic settings of the game and we're going to run at the Ultra preset. Video resolution wise, I believe we're going to run at 1440p, so if we're not already, let's just jump over to the video settings. Ah, we need to crank that resolution right up to 2560 by 1440, and we're going to save those changes. Lovely stuff. We're going to jump back into our graphic settings and start the benchmark mode, as this will give us a good indicative idea of the performance we can kind of find from not just this system, but a wide range of PCs which support Game Pass Ultimate. In the top right corner here, you'll also find our frame rate throughout, which is a good indication. In racing titles, you want 45 to 70 as a general rule of thumb. So let's see what we're able to achieve. You'll also see GPU usage up here in the top right too, which I'll keep an eye on as we move through. Go, here we go. So straight away, 107, 108 frames a second, jumping up to about the 112, 115 mark. That's really promising to see. And is of course more than enough, especially at 1440p. Our all AMD system then powering through nicely, but it's a game that also works well cross-platform. And that's perhaps one of the huge bonuses of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. You can use it on your PC, playing the latest PC and Xbox titles, but also on your next gen console, meaning you can play all of those games cross platform as and when you want to. Forza Horizon 5 is looking fantastic as well. This is a really nice IPS monitor that we've gone for, which is also, as it happens, available over at ebuy.com. We'll pop those links in the description below, but it's showing us really nice color reproduction, and Forza Horizon 5 is just one of those games that looks absolutely smashing. 120, 125 frames per second, not a bad result. And remember, of course, one of the advantages of buying a pre-built AlphaSync PC is that you know you're going to get good performance out of the box. Performance that operates with a wide range of titles, some of which are actually listed on the product pages. So if you want this system or a slightly cheaper SKU or one with an NVIDIA graphics card, you can take a look at the frame rate numbers that our in-house team over at AlphaSync have gone ahead and tested, making sure you guys know exactly what kind of frame rates you're going to achieve. And of course, if you're playing Forza Horizon 5 on this particular SKU link below, you know you're going to get 120. 23 frames per second on average, or there or thereabouts. It's quite warm in this room right now, contrary to what the hoodie might suggest, so probably even more uh, in a cooler environment. You can also see our system spec, 6900 XT and a Ryzen 9, with 32 gigabytes of system memory and 16 gigabytes of GPU memory. On to the next title. Now, I mentioned this one earlier, but Microsoft Flight Simulator, which we've actually gone ahead and installed for the first time. The last time I played this, I was up at eBuyer HQ and had a great time, so I'm excited to see what happens next. This is one of the biggest AAA titles right now, and obviously is a Microsoft in-house game from Xbox Game Studios, making it a perfect fit, not just for Game Pass Ultimate, but for those looking for a really, really cool gaming experience. 
This is the moment I've been waiting for. We're not going to run it low end. We're not medium. We're not even high. We're ultra. We've got an absolutely incredible system. So we may as well push things to the max. We're definitely going to use satellite data streaming too, as that's going to give us the best possible quality. We've got super fast internet here at eBuyer Video HQ. So that's very good. Keyboard and mouse. Yeah, we're going to do that. Now, I'm actually extra excited for this because at one point I was sort of learning to fly. Here's a photo of me learning to fly. So I'm hoping that the gaming version is going to be equally as fun and I'm hoping less turbulent physically than the last time I was in the air and we are in and if I do say so it looks absolutely incredible we're gonna go for a seaplane landing very much mimicking the conditions that we have here in the UK only joking but let's see what we've got so this is a seaplane so in theory we should be okay very very gently gliding it onto this water over here at least that's the theory Flare, flare, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, no, that's more of a bounce than a landing. Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Back in the air, back in the air, back in the air. God, these people are going to be suffering with severe seasickness at this point. There we go. It's working. How do I stop it? I've got literally no idea how I stopped the plane. This, for someone who was at one point learning to fly, this is not going well. Right, let's go back in the air. Let's consult our controls. Oh, at least it feels like now I'm falling. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. Oh. No, oh, the controls, they went too quick. The PC is too fast. I can't see the settings. It's too quick for my own good. So the settings have been consolidated. It's A and B to reduce the throttle. So that's going to slow us down if you look at the engine over there. It's then Y to engage or disengage autopilot. We're not going to use that because we are serious, don't you know? Let's give this another go, shall we? So the engine is, well, let's increase it a little bit. And then let's kind of circle back around over here to land in the lovely blue waters of Bora Bora. So let's... Let's do a little bit of a, a second attempt, a go around, I believe is the technical terminology. Let's just take a moment, shall we, though, to appreciate how incredible this game looks. Look at that. It's like being on an actual plane. It's utterly ridiculous. Like, like how on earth is this reality, you know? Playing this at 4K or even 8K in the future is going to be incredible. And the ability to fly to anywhere in the world, literally anywhere, is bonkers. Let's focus on the task at hand, though. Let's just ignore the wobble. That's all right. Get your sick bags out. Let's reduce our engine thrust slightly. How do I do that? That's B. Engine thrust is now reducing dramatically. We're going to put the flaps on as well to slow us down. Flaps are at four or five degrees. Here we go. Look at the flaps up there. Decreasing our, what's the word? Increasing our downforce, decreasing our lift. Let's take the flaps even further down. Yes, yes. Engine thrust is reducing. Airspeed is going down now rapidly. We are on a descent. The seaplane landing this time is going to be smooth like butter. I can assure you of this. Let's take the engine thrust down even further. Lose a bit more speed. I am in my element, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Come on, come on. The ground, look at the sea. Look at the color of the sea. My goodness, it is incredible. Too much speed, though. There's still too much speed. Too much speed, too much speed, too much speed. Here we go. This is looking better. This is looking better. Flare, flare the landing, flare the landing. Here we go, here we go. Drop the engine speed down to zero. Oh, no, that's a bit bouncy still. That's still a bit bouncy. What? No. What? Now, come on, that was really good. So this time, I'm reducing our flaps a little bit earlier to try and knock off a bit more speed. I'm also going to reduce our engine speed at a much more rapid rate than last time. Engine speed now off. Engine speed off. Engine speed off. Engine speed off. No, no, keep, keep a bit of altitude. Keep a bit of altitude. Keep altitude. Keep altitude. Keep altitude. Keep it up. 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 Yes, this is going to work. Go on. Stop. No, stop bouncing. Why are you bouncing for? Stop bouncing. Oh, we did it. We did it. Go on. Get in there. Oh, my goodness, mate. That felt good. Third time's a charm, as they say. Oh, Yes, that was good. That felt good. I'm sure there was lots of things I was missing there in terms of technical know-how, but the game looks beautiful as our lovely little Cessna comes to a stop. Our seaplane is in. Oh, the eagle has landed. On to the next one. Guardians of the Galaxy is next up. You can take a look at some of the settings, the visual settings we've used. I've since just flicked it onto full screen mode as well. Now this is more of an RPG than our other games, covering off all the bases, depending on just what kind of title you're after. Now, frame rate here so far is around 143 frames per second. And this was pretty conducive with the other results that we've gathered when playing this game. It's nice to have something a bit different, and it shows the real spread of titles on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. From those racing and simulation titles, to those RPGs, and then of course a range of first-person shooters, including many of the games in the Halo franchise too. There really is such a wide range of variety when it comes to Game Pass Ultimate. And having a month included for free, scenery in this game, I should add, looks great, 
having a month included for free is a massive bonus on the latest range of AlphaSync PCs with Windows 11 support. Go ahead and check out not only this system, but the full range exclusively at ebuy.com of AlphaSync PCs, which now come pre-installed with Windows 11 and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate free for a month. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to get subscribed to the eBuyer or AlphaSync channels to learn more. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, we'll see you soon.